Hello. I need a singer for my band. We like to play songs that are upbeat and avoid the cliches. Would you like to audition? Yes. I would like to start with Summertime and then some Alicia Keys. I love ballads because they are easy to sing. I would require medication to play Summertime. Alicia Keys is against my religion. Do you know any others? Something that has not been beaten like a dead horse. Yes. How about Cold Shot by Stevie Ray Vaughan? Good choice. Very obscure. How are you with memorizing lyrics? Memorizing? What does that word mean? I will need lyric sheets for every song we do, and will still be using them six months into this project. Do you have a printer? I am in the middle of moving, and my printer is broken. Yes, I can print out anything you need. Will you have $10 a week to pay for rehearsal fees? Sorry, but I have five other bands I'm working on right now, and no more cash for rehearsal costs. No problem, I will pay your share, just like I did with the last singer. How are you on rent? Do you need a loan? Actually, if you could lend me a few hundred dollars until next month, I would really appreciate it. Do you have your own microphone? No. I thought the band supplies that. Correct. I've spent $5,000 on my own equipment, so what's another hundred dollars? Can I send you song files from my website so you can learn the songs at home? Sorry, but my computer is 10 years old and has a virus. It is too slow to download any files. I have a CD player, but it is also broken. I don't have an MP3 player. Not a problem. It is only 2010, and I love how retro you are, refusing to accept new technology. Here is a CD player I bought for you off Craigslist, since you don't have money. I will burn you some discs, so you can learn the set list. I also know a bit about computers. Can I come to your place, and try to fix your computer, so that you can access emails? That would be great. Here is my address. By the way, I also need a volunteer for my makeup course I am taking at school. If music does not work out for me, I will have to fall back on another career. Tomorrow, I need someone to sit in the chair all day, while I make them look like a Borg from Star Trek. You will have a headache from being buried under makeup for 8 hours. Can you volunteer your entire day to help me out? I will only ask you to do this three more times, until I have my final exam. Sure. I have nothing better to do, since I'm a musician without a real job. I have been thinking about you and me busking on Granville Island. There are a lot of tourists there in the summer. You might earn enough to pay me back for the CD player I just bought you. What do you think? I love that idea. Let's do it. I am very excited to be working with you. Music is my life. Great. I have spent the last four weeks breaking my balls to make us backing tracks. I recorded the guitar parts, the bass parts, and played the drums myself. Each track took me three days, working ten hours a day. I believe in us, so I want this to be really good. I spent $200 on a new portable amplifier. I also bought us two season passes for busking that cost $50 each. I'm sorry, but I've decided to move to Ontario next week to live with my mother. I cannot play music this summer. I also dropped a table on my foot and can't walk. But it was great knowing you, destroying your soul, and taking advantage of your generosity. No problem. I will be nice now, but will write you a pissed off email on Facebook later on. Then I will delete you from my friend list. Have a nice trip. Hello. I saw your ad on Craigslist. I'm looking for a new singer for my band. The last one moved to Ontario. I see that you have worked in a casino band. Yes. I love soul music, but I am not crazy about the rock songs you do. I would prefer if you dropped all those songs from the set list. Please do not jam with the band or play guitar solos that take attention away from me. If you play an instrumental that lets the band have fun, I will go home. That's fine. I know I can't get work without a good singer, so I'm willing to compromise. Do you know a lot of songs that will make me fall asleep, because there is very little guitar in them? Of course. They all have two simple chords, and are around 70 beats per minute. Excellent. I have been studying and playing guitar for 35 years, so I love to play to only 15% of my abilities. Okay, I have found us 12 gigs in the last two months and you have done nothing for me, even though you also don't have a regular job. Is it possible that you could contact some bars and set up some gigs? I'm very tired. I can't do that. 
I have many other projects, and I'm only interested in working with people who give me money. I mean, look at me. I look like Madonna in the 80s. All the bar owners think I'm very sexy. Yes, but my wife hates you and thinks you made a pass at me on stage at her last gig. She thinks you dress like a whore. I'm torn. I love my wife, but I also love to gig. I think I will begin to pester you more and more to find us gigs and then threaten to use other singers unless you put some effort into this. That will get you annoyed enough to quit, thereby saving my marriage. That last time you rehearsed at my house, my wife could barely contain her seething rage. She wanted to fart in your face. Okay, I will start writing you those pestering emails now. I did not like that last email you sent me. I am sexy, and I dress like a whore, but that's why we get hired. I am not happy that you think I should be helping the band pack up a sound system after the show. I prefer to keep dancing with your bass player while you do all the work. I'm a singer. I don't lift things. Isn't it enough that my friend is a photographer? Remember last week when we went to the beach and did a photo shoot? Yes, that was fun. I love being forced to wear a hat even when I hate hats. I would rather you put energy into finding gigs than picking out hats for me and going on useless photo shoots. I cannot talk to you anymore. My wife still hates you. Says it's a chemical reaction. Good luck with your band. Have you seen the pictures on Facebook of me squeezing my boobs together for the camera? My wife has already shown me those. I have also deleted you from my Facebook. Goodbye. Hi there. Your Craigslist ad says you like to rock. Here is a list of some heavy music you might like. Wow. This music is so good. I have added you as a friend on Facebook. I'm putting up links of all these songs and telling all my friends about my new band, even though we have never even met. It seems like we are a perfect match. Our first jam session went really well. I spent days learning all the songs you want to sing, and you are getting really excited about the songs I gave you. I really look forward to our second session next week. Wait. I changed my mind and sent you an email. We are just on two different paths musically. Don't bother trying to write back and tell me how confused you are. I will not respond. I am woman. Hear me roar. Hello. I once had a band, but my bassist and drummer are sick of all these singer auditions and have moved on. I'm now auditioning a singer for an acoustic duo. Do you have any professional experience? Yes, I have been singing in karaoke bars for the last year and all my drunk friends say I should be in a band. Wow. I am impressed with your credentials. Here is a list of 500 songs I love to play. Can you find any in there that you like? What is a Kate Bush? Who are the Beatles? I don't like this music. I want to play songs by Erica Badu and Amy Winehouse. The problem is that these songs are too slow and boring for me to play. They are all bass and drums. Hello? Have you realized I'm a guitar player? There is nothing for me to do. I try to play music by artists I respect. Amy Winehouse is a skank. But I love these songs and I want to sing them. This is a duo. Duo means two. We should both play songs we like. I understand that there are just not enough cover songs in the world for us to agree on 30 that we both like. Maybe one day, in the year 2525, if man is still alive, we will finally have enough cover songs to choose from. I was born too early. Goodbye. Hello. I need a singer for my band. Here are the songs we are playing. Please pick five and have them ready by next week. I am ready for your audition. That was fast. How do you think it went? I think it went really well. When is our first gig? Slow down. Listen to the audition recordings of you singing five takes of the same song. You were out of pitch every time. You are tone deaf. Do you still think it went well? I am a good singer. All my friends say so. I've never been so insulted in all my life. Fuck you. Hello. I need a singer for my band. It says here that you are an actress slash singer. Listen, do you hear it? That is the siren going off in my head, warning me there is an extreme flake ahead. But you are black, so I'm assuming you can sing. Let's start with some Tina Turner. It's an old one from the 60s, called The Fool in Love. One, two, three, four. Thank you. My ears are bleeding. 
I would recommend you stick with acting. Goodbye. Hello. I need a singer. You seem very outgoing. I would love to sing the song, Paradise, by Shaw Day. That was interesting. You sounded like Linda Blair in The Exorcist. I was improvising. I have gone out to support you at all your gigs with your other band. Yet, you never come out to see me play. Of course not. I'm interested in furthering my career, not yours. I will continue to send you form letter invitations to all my shows, even though we have absolutely no personal contact anymore. Thank you very much. I look forward to your spam. Greetings. I got your ad off Craigslist. You say you are a great singer. Do you have any demos of your voice? No. Just let me audition. I can sing anything. Fair enough. I enjoy spending money on setting up auditions at expensive studios and then finding out the singer sounds like Tom Waits. I should let you know that I have aged 20 years in the last six months of singer auditions. Even the hair on my scrotum has gone white. Still, I keep moving, like Sisyphus dragging a stone uphill. Would you like to hurt me some more? Yes, how about this? One of my favorite things is to throw up halfway through an audition. Splendid. You're hired. No audition is even required. Can we offer you a ride home? That would be great. I live 50 miles from here. No problem. We do this, even though every singer we have ever driven home has turned out to be a deadbeat. We really want you in the band. But I ask that you commit to it at least three months. I'm sorry, but I'm moving up north in two weeks. I can't commit. Thanks for the ride. Are you completely jaded and burned out now? Most definitely. So is the band. We just broke up. I can't complain. The bass player liked to run after drug addicts who stole booze from the liquor store and beat them to a pulp. He also bragged to me about his road rage incidents where he threatened to kill the families of drivers that pissed him off. A lovely individual. I have booked six months with a psychiatrist in order to cope with the memory of him and the last ten singers that I have auditioned. Have you got the bass player's phone number? He sounds hot.